Hello, I'm Monica Vanderveeren with King County's Wastewater Treatment Division, or WTD. WTD carries out a range of construction projects to build sewers for growing areas, replace aging sewers, and to meet current regulations. King County built an underground storage tank in Seattle's North Beach neighborhood. This concrete tank, designed to fit under the street in a residential area, will hold excess stormwater and wastewater during heavy rains to prevent overflows to Puget Sound at North Beach. Shoring is a support system used to hold soils back during excavation for underground construction. Shoring is a construction activity that can create noise and vibration. There are different ways to put in shoring depending on the type of soil you're digging in. The shoring method used in this project worked with soils in North Beach and had lower levels of noise and vibration than other methods. This is called the soil mix wall method. Building soil mix walls requires the use of drilling rigs, trucks, concrete batch plants, large cranes, and excavators. The first step in the soil mix wall method is to prepare a mix of cement and other materials called grout. This grout is specially formulated for these soils and is mixed in the large batch plants shown here. Making a special grout mix on site is the most effective approach for a project of this size. The grout is mixed with the soil using the large blue drill you see here. The drill digs as deep as 75 feet, injecting and mixing grout with the soil as it descends. Before the grout mixture dries, a large crane inserts steel beams into the mix, giving support to the grout soil mixture. It can take over three hours to install each panel depending on how hard the soil is. This process is repeated to create multiple panels that form a continuous wall around the excavation. After the panels dry, they are tested to ensure their strength. As panels are pushed into the soil grout walls, they displace a mix of dirt and grout or spoils. The spoils are collected, as shown here, and allowed to gel enough to be hauled off-site for disposal. The soil mix walls hold back surrounding soil so that crews can form and build the floors, walls, and lid of the underground storage tank. After the tank is built, the space between the top of the tank and the street is filled with soil. Finally, pavement is restored over the top of the tank. For more information on King County's construction projects, search King County WTD on YouTube or contact the King County Wastewater Treatment Division.